Hey everybody, it's Chris Plant and we're here at CES 2015. We're looking at Snail Games' new video game console and new video game portable system. That's right, they're launching two different things in the next calendar year. First up, we have the W3D portable console. Uh, it looks and feels a lot like a PlayStation Vita, uh, but what it actually is is an Android device. And it's pretty slick. It has uh, a 3D display that looks okay, but just in general in HD, it looks pretty nice. For people who are wanting to have the more traditional video game experience while using Android services, uh, this seems like a really solid option. The other thing that we have is the O, the o box, not to be confused with the Xbox, though there are many parts of it that look like an Xbox. It is running behind me. It is a, well, basically a modular system. You'll be able to get it in a variety of different ways, whether it's having a 500 gigabyte hard drive up to a four terabyte hard drive. It also is an Android system, and it's using NVIDIA's K1. It is interesting. It runs in 3D, it outputs at 4K. It seems like a pretty smart option if you're somebody who is wanting to do Android gaming on your television. But the question is, who are those people? After the failure, well, let's not say failure of the Ouya, it is an interesting time to hop into the, uh, uh, you know, the video game console market. There are these guys called Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft, and it turns out they're pretty good at this stuff. But maybe this will be a new competitor. We'll see. If you want to see more videos during CS, might I recommend that you go to youtube.com forward slash The Verge.